Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday, right? Another Frilici Friday. I'm Amy Frilici and I have had some technical difficulties. We are tall. What is that? Um, portrait instead of landscape today. I was all ready to go, put my phone in my little clip and then you like turn it sideways. And I was going to be like this, uh, you know, sideways on the camera. So anyway, here I am. I've kind of Jimmy rigged. I'm like, I, you should, if you could see, hi, Jamie, how are you? I've got all of these boxes stacked to try to get my phone. And I still wish it was a little bit higher, but I was like, I got to do this thing. So anyway, here we are. We're doing the best we can. I'm like, whoo, okay, sweating bullets for a sec there, but everything is good. Um, my one concern is when I flip the camera down, I'm not sure if I'm going to get it to be the right orientation or not, but we'll figure that out. And I think, I don't know, you guys will still be able to kind of see what I'm doing, right? Even if it is sideways. So we'll see. We're going to just do the best we can because that's how we roll these days. So thank you everybody for joining me. We have an awesome day today, right? We are playing with, this is called the, it's the Delightful Doily, the hybrid embossing folder. So you guys can see this right here. It's a beautiful embossing folder. And then there are a set of dies that go with it. So you get all of this together kind of in a bundle. It's not bundled with a stamp set, but you get, so there's this doily die right there, huge, beautiful doily. And then you can also cut out just kind of the outside image and then another smaller doily. And then they've got a nice circle since we really don't have circle dies right now. Although I'll give you a little hint. There are some, hi Teresa, um, there are some deckled circle dies in our new holiday catalog. We'll talk about that in just a little bit. But basically, yeah, so this set of dies, both of these guys right here, and then that doily embossing folder, that is what we're gonna be playing with today. So I can't wait to share those projects with you guys in just a little while. Um, let's see what, oh, oh, I know. I'm like, oh, usually I can look down and you guys can't really see me, but oh, you still can't see my table. So that's good because it's a mess right now. I always get it kind of cleaned up by the time we're ready to flip the camera down. But we, um, I want to say a huge thank you to all of you f for your response for um, my mom, I honoring her uh, 20 years ago on Tuesday, she passed away from, it ended up being brain cancer. She had breast cancer a couple of times and then um, it moved into her brain. So anyway, I just wanted to say thank you guys so very much for for everything. I, um, I put this scrapbook together for myself and my sister quite a few years ago and I had kind of uh, collected stamp sets that I thought were meaningful um, and just had so much fun putting it together and it was great like it's not something that I look at often probably often enough but it was so fun to take those pictures and share them right here on our Facebook group hi Kathy thanks for joining us I got so many beautiful um, you know just responses comments um, lots of people have obviously been affected by cancer and lots of other di diseases and things and I I just like it touched me so much to hear from all of you, all of your stories too, all of the the moms, the sisters, the grandmas, the kids even that have passed away in our lives and kind of all that we all have to deal with through all of that. And I know, you know, it's one of those in the whole like scheme of things, death is a part of life and it happens for all of us, um, but it's still really hard to deal with sometimes. And there was something about that 20 year anniversary that it was just really hitting me. And I wanted to make sure to kind of share that with all of you. Hi, Vina. Hello. Welcome. Um, it's not something that I do easily. I don't take it lightly at all. I'm not a huge poster on Facebook. I just, I don't feel like super comfortable. Not that um, I judge anyone else for doing it. I think it's great. I love to see what everybody's up to and their posts and things, but it's hard for me, especially those really personal things to share those. And so I just want to say thank you again for your responses, um, for your um, orders too, for all of your online orders that came in for like just donations. People were sending money just as a straight donation. Um, and so I don't have totals yet because it's still kind of all in process, uh, but I will be sharing those numbers with you guys once I have some kind of final totals. I'm just, I'm so thankful. I'm so grateful. I am just so touched. And also I want to say too, it's funny because I've thought a lot about this. Um, 
And actually one thing I wanna share with you guys, cause I think this is kind of neat. So the Party Foundation and Cancer Treatment Fund, that's the organization that I chose to make the donation to. I wanna give you a little bit of kind of information cause we actually have last day today, hi Philomena, welcome, um, to either make your purchase or get your, and honestly, if you send a donation, um, PayPal check, whatever, I'll make sure that that gets to them even after um, today. Basically the cutoff today is for orders. Any orders that come in, online, I'm going to donate my 20% to this party foundation and cancer treatment fund. And I just want to give you a little bit more. I think I gave you a little bit of detail, but I thought I want to kind of touch on it a little bit more because I think this is pretty neat. So party is actually, hi Charlene, is the name of a woman that wanted this foundation um, kind of established in her name. So Elsa Pardee wanted, again, this foundation to be created to provide for others the benefits of scientific knowledge and skill yet undiscovered and hence not available to herself. And this was back in 1944. And that's like mind boggling to me. I mean, I know there was cancer, but can you imagine um, having had cancer way back then? I mean, my mom first had breast cancer in 1999. And I think about kind of how, uh, not archaic, but just, you know, the times are so different and more advanced now and the care was not the same that it is now. And so I can't even imagine in 1944 what it was like. Um, the other thing that I think is kind of neat is the connection between Elsa Pardee and my mom is that they both passed away at age 59. So there's like, there's just kind of um, some neat correlation. Well, neat, I don't know, right? They're just they are what they are, right? But so basically, the foundation trustees were concerned about the high cost of cancer treatment. And so the party cancer treatment fund was formed. It originally started in Midland County, which is just kind of down the road from us. And then basically, it is funded by a yearly grant from the party foundation to help cancer patients needing financial assistance. And it has since moved on to other counties, including our county, Gratiot County. This is a cool fact, I think. It says, since 1944, this family-run foundation has granted over $135 million to support two key areas. First one is research programs. Hi, Gwen. Thanks for joining us, and happy birthday earlier this month. Um, research programs directed toward discovering new approaches for cancer treatment and cure, and then second key area is the financial support for patients undergoing cancer treatment. So I love that, that it's it's about research, um, treatment, cure, kind of, you know, there's a, there are lots of um, areas for that. And then the actual financial support. We live in not a very affluent area here. Hi, Monica. Hello. Thanks for joining us um, in our county, basically. You know, so I just can't imagine, you know, kind of coming into this diagnosis and not having the means to be able to help yourself. So I love that this fund helps people who maybe aren't able to get the care that they otherwise could if they had the means to do that. So that's the basic idea behind that fund and why I chose it. I love that it's helping people right here in my community. My mom loved this community and was a huge part of it. And so I love to be able to kind of give back in her name too. And it kind of, it just brings her back to life, I guess, in some ways. So, and the other thing I just want to say is I thank each one of you because what I kind of realized as like years have gone on and I didn't, I kind of knew I had this need, but I didn't totally understand it, I guess, is all of you have kind of, you know, there's a hole that's left when someone like that passes away. And each one of you in your own little way has kind of helped fill that hole for me. So I appreciate all of that, you know, your friendship, um, the mentorship, kind of the the advice giving, um, just being a part of um, my life and our lives here um, at the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio and a part of classes and that sort of thing. So thank you guys. I just truly thank you so much for all of your involvement and participation. And like I said, today is the last day. If you have an online order, if you want to get that put in, I'm going to donate 20% of that order to the Party Cancer Treatment Fund right here in Gratiot County. Um, okay, so let's see. Moving on. Oh, actually, now I know what I want to show you guys. The holiday catalog we have. This is the holiday mini catalog. Can you guys see? I don't know if the glare is kind of right there, but it's very pretty. I want to say, what are the colors on here? I'm going to say soft sea foam and uh, shaded spruce, maybe soft sea, soft sea foam, shaded spruce, and maybe garden green is kind of my guess. I don't think it's 
maybe mossy meadow. Anyway, lots of pretty greens and a huge tongue twister to try to say all those colors at once, right? So with that being said, these are like on a UPS truck driving around my neighborhood. They're not quite here yet, but I'm thinking they're coming this afternoon. So if anybody would like a catalog, let me know and I'm happy to get one sent out to you. Ordering um, for customers starts uh, September and it's not even step September 1st. Okay, hold on. I'm going to get my glasses on here and see if I can't read what this says. Um, ordering starts September 6th, okay? So we've got a couple, well, a few weeks, right, before you can order. If you're interested in getting the starter kit, just know that you can always do that. Uh, right now, it's the regular starter kit deal. Pick $125 in product, pay only $99 plus sales tax, no shipping. You can actually order out of the holiday catalog because then you're a demonstrator. And then as demonstrators, we've been able to order this basically this entire month of August. So I'm getting some, again, it's driving around on that UPS truck. I've got some fun new products from the holiday catalog that I'll start showing you. Probably not until like the end of the month, though, um, because because, you know, you can't really order it yet. So anyway, but yeah, again, if you're interested, if you would like a holiday mini catalog, let me know. I'd be happy to get one of these sent out to you. Okay. Um, all right. Let's see what else. I'm always checking my notes. Um, I think we are ready. Let's do our first drawing for these are the tinsel gems, the three pack. And these are some of my most favorite. I love these just kind of soft, this like soft dainty colors, I guess I would say. So names are in this little basket right here. If you shared our last Facebook live video, if you sign up for my email list, or if you shared the class to go kit post, which I actually, I realized I've been advertising for that and I forgot to post it right here on this group. So I just posted that this morning. Um, so if you happen to see and share that, your name is in here also. Okay, so here we go. One lucky winner for the Tinsel Gems three pack. And who do we have? I got one lucky name in my hand, Miss Mary Ann McGinnis. All right, congratulations, Mary Ann. I will get those little Tinsel Gems three packs sent out to you. All right, we're gonna scoot those right over here. I'm gonna dump these out and get ready for our next drawing. Okay, so on our next Facebook Live, which is going to be two weeks from today, and I can kind of see my calendar. So, all right, yes, August 23rd. So not next Friday, but the following Friday on August 23rd will be our next Facebook Live. We are gonna give away, these are the ombre, I think they're called the ombre matte decorative dots. And so they're beautiful, love those kind of ombre shades, right, where they start light to dark on each of these. Coastal Cabana still, oh, can you guys, actually, I, this is my Coastal Cabana wall back here too. Um, yeah, so there's Coastal Cabana, doesn't it kind of like matches, right? So yes, awesome set of little ombre dots. We'll give this away. Share this Facebook Live video, sign up for my email list, link is above this video after I get it uploaded um, or share the class to go kit post which I'm going to show you guys I got a new class to go and it's super cute can't wait to share that with you guys in just a little bit okay um what else what else oh don't forget to use so if you earned a bonus day coupon in July you actually uh, can use it in August so make sure you do that because I think they're only I think you can only use them in August so make sure you do that before the end of the month right they would have when you ordered in July whatever your email address is on file on your customer profile they emailed you a bonus day coupon so hopefully you have that uh, kind of kept safely somewhere pull that out um, there's a little spot you know when you get to the end of the ordering section online that'll ask if you have coupon codes you just copy and paste those in there that's the easiest way don't try to write them down or anything because they're like 10 million lines or letters long so yeah but I already redeemed mine. It was very fun. Got some fun new product from the holiday catalog. Uh, so yeah, make sure you do that, okay? Get those bonus day coupons used while you can. Um, What else? What else? Oh, one day retreat. Here I am like kind of looking around my little table here. So one day retreat is on Saturday, October 7th. I don't know why that date will not stick in my mind, but first Saturday in October, Saturday, October 7th is our one day retreat right here in Alma. It's at the Peace Lutheran Church, big, wide open space, lots of light, lots of nature too. It's kind of fun. There are always deer like kind of in the back woodsy area. So, you know, if you need to get up and kind of have a little nature fix, there's usually something out there um, that you can be entertained by for a little while. So, um, but yeah, so back to the actual inside of so we have make well let's see a goodie bag valued at over $30 we have a make and takes 
Um, I always have other projects set out there. So if you need other inspiration or ideas, um, I feed you all day long, lots of snacks and treats and lunch and dinner and all kinds of yummy stuff. Um, and basically you just come work on whatever you want and just hang out and enjoy the day and we take care of you. Um, so if you're interested, oh, I'm like, woo, okay. Dogs barking somewhere down the street. Storm's trying to say hello. Hi, Susie. Welcome, welcome. Uh, so yeah, so come join us right here in Alma, October 7th, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. It is $64 for the entire day. Yep. And if you RSVP and prepay by August 25th, so just in a couple weeks, hi, Debbie, welcome, welcome, um, you can um, get an extra free gift in your goodie bag too, okay? Debbie, thank you for the share. I appreciate that. All right. Um... We are moving on. Let me make sure. Okay, yeah. So we are going to do our drawing right now for this is the beautiful. I love this. We're actually using this um, in a class. at. We have um, simple, beautiful card class this afternoon also. So we're going to use this stamp set right here, the Earth and Texture stamp set um, at class. But I'm going to give it away right now, right here on Facebook Live. If you put an online order in through me and you use the host code as part of my, um, uh, what was my fundraiser? <laughs> like, what was that word called? My fundraiser uh, for the party cancer treatment treatment fund in my mom's honor, right? 20% of those sales are going to um, that fund. You also get both of there's that way right there, right? So these are the two cards that I demonstrated on our last Facebook Live. So you get both of these as a thank you from me. Oops, I forgot to bring it over. You also get a sample of the delightfully eclectic designer series paper. I'm going to try to get this fanned out here. So these are all of the patterns in the paper. Here we go, here we go, here we go, right? So there you kind of get an idea of them, right? So you're going to get this sample of the Delightfully Eclectic oops, Designer Series paper. Love that, slip, like so many fun, bright, bold prints in there. So two cards, Designer Series paper sample. You get your choice of either the free embellishment, which are, these are called the Adhesive Backed Sparkle Gems. So can you guys see they're beautiful, like gold, kind of gold, silver, black, beautiful, beautiful. Or you can pick the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial. And this is my project with the cute little Bird's Eye View stamp set right there. So either one of those. And then your name is in the drawing right now for the Earthen Texture stamp set, which I have to show you guys. So this was a swap card that I received on the trip to Norway. And this is the project that we are going to be making today, made by Lynn Dunn. And I love, so um, you can see it actually, um, the thank you is really the only stamp from the stamp set, but these are some of the dies. Um, and then also the designer series paper. I don't know if you guys can see with the glare there, but beautiful, like earthy suite of products. And I picked that because it kind of reminds me of my mom too. So, all right, here we go. Names are in the drawing. We have one lucky winner for the Earth and Texture stamp set. And let's see, get these shaken around a little bit here. Here we go, got one in my hand and it goes to, hey, Monica is watching too, Miss Monica Talbot. Congratulations, Monica. You are the winner of the Earthen Texture Stamp Set. So I will get that sent out to you. All right, scoop these things out of the way. And, okay, so on our next Facebook Live, all right, that's all. I had to make sure I've shown you guys everything. Nikki, hello, welcome, welcome. Next Facebook Live, we are going to give away, this is the Horse and Sleigh Stamp Set. You're welcome, Monica. Uh, this stamp set was one that I showed you guys, and I already took the projects down um, to class. They're already at class, but these, this is the stamp set that I showed, uh, stamp set and designer series paper. So this is part of the online exclusives make and takes that we made at our meeting. Um, I guess that was at the end late in July. <laughs> I'm like, what day, what day is it? What month is it? I'm like, I don't know. I feel like very like a foggy headed as far as what day or month it is. So yeah. So July we had make and takes that we, you that we did at our um, our group meeting with this horse and sleigh stamp set and then the designer series paper and the dies. So awesome, awesome. This is what we're going to give away if you put an online order through me using the host code that is on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com and I'll share it with you guys in just a few minutes too. So, um, oh, you know what I forgot to show? Miss Teresa, I think you are watching right now too. So Teresa sent me, this was this beautiful card that she made and I love, I don't have, I think it's like maybe inked botanicals. So it's the designer series paper. So 
some of that. And like my most favorite, that beautiful ribbon, the, why am I drawing a blank? Is It's Lost Lagoon, isn't it? Lost Lagoon ribbon. Um, and then I love how she tore, I forget, I don't do that anymore. She kind of tore the designer series paper right there too. And basically she sent me a little note that says, I just wanted to help you with your fundraiser in remembrance of your mother, uh, Teresa Hinchman. So thank you, Teresa. I appreciate the beautiful card, the thought, the gesture. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Oh, and then actually here was another card. Another friend um, sent an order in and she's made this little card too. And it says, sending comfort and strength. And she says, sunshine to brighten your day is what's stamps insi stamped inside. Um, and it says, here is an order for your mom's memorial. Love, Beth. So thank you, Miss Beth Martin, for the beautiful card and um, your donation, your, your order as well. So <laughs> yes, Teresa, I truly appreciate that. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I forgot to show those earlier. And I'm like, oh, they're still on my table here. So that's good. I kind of move things aside after I've talked about them. And then I know if it's moved aside, I've already, I've already told you guys about it right so that's kind of it's kind of a good system right okay I think we're doing all right here I'm gonna just kind of keep tidying up okay I think okay so I'm like really nervous about this we're gonna flip the camera I just don't have it's funny because I've got my mount right here and there's not a way like what I would have to do is kind of clip it like tall ways and I only have I only have it I, I wonder I think it's probably um, and it's funny because I called my daughter even. That's why I was so late getting on to Facebook Live because she fixed it for me. I know this happened one other time and I couldn't figure out what to do. And there's some kind of, you know, where you like lock your, your phone so you can't, you know, it won't flip like kind of the other way. And we checked that setting and that wasn't, that wasn't activated. So I'm like, oh, I don't know what it is. So maybe it's some weird Facebook thing, right? Yeah, it seems like people have problems with Facebook Live every once in a while. So maybe there's something with Facebook right now where you, when you do a live video, you can't flip the camera. So I'm just going to warn you guys. I don't know. We might be sideways, but I think you're still going to be able to get the idea of what I'm sharing with you. Maybe you have to lock your screen and then like turn your phone or your iPad or whatever you're watching on. So Okay, just fingers crossed, but I have a feeling we're going to be like sideways. So, okay, I'm going to just have to deal with it. Hopefully, you guys can deal with it too. Okay, um, here we go. I want to have the host code. I want to show you guys that. So let's have that out there, right? Okay. Um, okay, so here we go. We're flipping, right? So this is funny. I'm like, okay, I want to do, so we're going to do, hello, Miss Denise. Okay, so we're going to flip that that way. And, oh, okay. All right, I'm feeling, oh boy. Did it actually work? You guys, I'm super excited about this. Okay, so here is our host code for, uh, what's the month? This is August. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure that out a little bit there. Yeah, okay, all right. So yeah, here's our host code. The UUXQTP2Y is what you're gonna wanna use if you order online so you can get all these Facebook Live freebies this month, okay? Um, so what I want to show you guys now is my class to go. So let's see. It features the Darling Details stamp set, the Darling Details dies. Check those out, huh? Awesome set of dies. And here, let me grab the cards here too. Okay, I think I got everything. Okay, so Darling Details stamp set. Maybe we are sideways. I don't know. You guys will have to tell me. I better put my glasses on so I can kind of see what I'm doing here too. We might be, right? Brenda, hello. Welcome, welcome. I think, Brenda, you just ordered this class to go to. <laughs> All right. Hi, Mike. How are you? <laughs> All right. So, Darling Details class to go, featuring the Darling Details stamp set. So, we have happy birthday, hello there, friend, you're not here. I hate that. Uh, count me among the, all the people who are here for you. Just a note and a thank you. And I love this, how this stamp set works because, so for example, you can stamp this cute little stamp right here and then this kind of watercolors it inside there. Same thing with this one, this one, this one, and this one. Uh, maybe not that one, but I love that cute little baby flower stamp there too. And then this one can go inside there with some more detail. So awesome sentiments, super cute stamp set. This was one that definitely caught my eye as I was flipping through. Okay, yep, you are sideways. Okay, 
Thank you for letting me know, Gwen. I'm, it's funny because as I'm looking, it's not sideways, but all your comments are sideways. So that's what kind of made me think. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to have to work on this. I'm going to blame it on Facebook though, that it won't let me like flip my camera right now. So that's what we're going to say. Okay. <laughs> all right. So sorry guys. Um, so maybe turn your cameras. I don't know. Can you do that? Will that help? Let me know. So then this awesome set of dies though, with kind of, we got a couple of little borders. You can see these images. Well, these dies right here, cut out these images right here. Right. And then another little border and this super cute little guy right here too. So Awesome stamp set, awesome die set. We are also featuring, these are the 2022-24 in color pearls. You can see I've used some of them, but that's what I have left. And then also this is the three quarter inch, the white herringbone ribbon. So really simple, beautiful ribbon. I actually kind of pulled it apart and used kind of the little um, fringy pieces here to make one of my bows too. So uh, <laughs> okay, Denise, I'm glad you're with me. Yes, better to blame Facebook. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so let me show you. We don't have four cards as usual, per usual, on our class to go. So we have, this is a beautiful happy birthday. And you guys, can you see? It's a little bit dark, right? But this is the Starry Sky cardstock with that little border and some of the ribbon. Um, and then here's the detail, right? So again, here's this stamp. And then you, I think I stamped it off too. So stamp fully and then kind of stamp off with this guy to kind of water color your image inside there right so there's one card then we've got this beautiful thank you card I love all these little details here too so that one is this die right here kind of cut those out there right the little thank you and obviously you can change these sentiments you can make them all birthday or hello there or thank you whatever you guys need and then this uses one of our embossing folders also with some of the little trim detail there and then last we have the just a note and here's this kind of flying all over the place um, where I kind of pulled apart the ribbon and made that fringy little bow there and this one is just a note so those are the four cards you make in the class to go option number one includes the stamp set the dies the in color pearls and the ribbon plus all the parts and pieces to make two of each of those cards you actually get these in color pearls for free in option number one um let's see option number one is 85 dollars, and then option number two is if you already have the stamp set and the dies you're going to do your own stamping and die cutting obviously you have to do that anyway but you're going to get that another way so you just need the in color pearls the ribbon and all the parts and pieces oh and i always forget to say this plus the PDF tutorial that tells you step by step how to put those cards together. So option number two is $30. Um, also, if you need these kits shipped to you, it's an additional $10 for the priority mail shipping. That's for tracking and insurance. I don't mark that up at all. It's what uh, USPS charges me. I know it's a bummer. I've had people kind of asking about that. I just don't mark this class up <laughs> really much at all to be able to absorb a $10 shipping fee. So I apologize about that, but that's how that is. Um, let's see, option number three, PDF tutorial that tells you step-by-step -step how to put all of these projects together. You're going to do it all on your own. You just want to know that uh, PDF tutorial is $15. And then option number four is for my downline. They can actually get the tutorial for free or the make and takes for just $15 as well. They get the gems, they get the ribbon, everything else they need. They will get their own stamp set and dies on through their own demo idea to get their discount um yeah and so let's see what do you guys what do you need to know oh rsvps are due in two weeks from today so friday august 25th and the kits will ship out no later than september 6th all right okay so now we're going to scoot this stuff out of the way and we are going to do some stamping i guess some sideways stamping right um we're going to do this card first here okay so Beautiful, right? This is the sending hugs. Can you see all the little detail with the flowers there too? And then here's the doily. So the doily die and then the doily embossing folder right there. Okay, so let's get all of these things out. And then I will tell you what we're doing here. Okay. All right, there we go. I think we got everything. Those out of the way, and we need the dies and the embossing folder. Yeah, we we use. There's a bit to be done on these. We're gonna scoot this out of the way for now, and I'll bring that back out in just a little bit. Okay, so here we go. We have our 
This is a Lost Lagoon card base. Such a pretty color. I forgot about this color, really. Um, and even when it first came back, I was like, oh, okay, that's all right. But I have really like fallen back in love with it again. I, Like I said, I kind of forgot about it. So, um, okay, I'm glad you guys, thank you. All right, you're enjoying. Thank you. Hi, Deb, how are you? Okay, um, so yes, let's see. Lost Lagoon cardstock. Eight and a half, I'm sorry, eight and a half by 11. On the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches. And then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches. Okay, I'm gonna make a tall card like this, right? Okay, then we have our piece of, this is a boho blue, four by five and a quarter. That's the piece that we're gonna emboss and layer right on there. On the inside, I have a piece of basic white cardstock, again, measuring four by five and a quarter, the very standard layer that just gives the, you that kind of quarter inch edge all the way around. Um, oh, and then designer series paper. This is the in color designer series paper in boho blue that measures four inches by two inches. And that's just gonna go right across there. And then I basically have kind of scrap pieces of petal pink, basic white, lost lagoon and boho blue to do our stamping and die cutting. Okay, so let me think about this. And I actually tried to be a little bit prepared and I die cut some of the flowers already. So we are gonna just die cut the boho blue flowers here too. Hi, Mary, welcome. Thanks for joining us. Um, let's see, so what do I wanna do? I think I'm actually gonna do, generally, I do my stamping and then I do my die cutting, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna die cut this circle and then do the stamping after that. So I think we can do all of our die cutting right now. Let's actually start with the embossing so I don't forget to do that. Okay, and we've got these guys right here. Okay, so we're gonna do our embossing first. Get my die cutting machine ready for embossing instead, right? And that needs to scoot out of the way. Okay. me think you know what's funny because it kind of embossed it a little bit um not as much as I wanted it to so I'm going to grab a little scrap piece of paper as kind of a shim here let's see you guys do that I'm like digging through the trash trying to find a little piece of paper that I folded in half but here I just have a couple little pieces of scrap paper that I just kind of put down there as a shim so we want to kind of center that, right? So we kind of have about the same amount embossed around all the edges. All right, I think that looks pretty good. So there, we're gonna do that on that. And let's see, I want it to be, yeah, a little bit tighter. I'm gonna see if this, cause when I, it's funny, cause when I pulled it out, I was like, oh, that's nice, but it didn't wow me. And I, I thought it was, cause maybe it needed a little bit more of a shim. So let's see. Yeah, there we go. Now I see it a little bit better. Isn't that beautiful? All that detail in there. Beautiful doily. Okay, and now we're gonna do our die cutting. Okay. So we have a couple of things to do here. Where, all my dies are buried, aren't they? Okay. So we have, this is our white one. I'm gonna maybe, I might have to do it two times, but we'll see, right? Okay, so I've got my white, oh, I didn't even show you guys. So here, these, oh, no, that's not it. <laughs> Where did they, oh, they're right here, because I need them on the next card too. So these are the Stylish Shapes dies, and I actually use the biggest circle on this guy right there, okay? And then I am going to grab, where's my card? I'm feeling really lost, because I can't see you. Where, what am I doing, right? Okay, then we're going to do the doily on this is a piece of petal pink cardstock. This is where, so I think we're going to just crank these and then we'll come back and do the flowers because if I have room, I barely have room and things will probably start fidgeting around. Okay, so we're going to just cut these real quick. Okay. Yeah, thank you, Philomena. It, I felt um, this whole like sending hugs theme. I was like, it feels very appropriate right now, right? Okay, so there's, okay, look, isn't that pretty, right? Just that beautiful outline, right? And then this, that's the largest circle in the stylish shapes, fits perfectly inside there, right? Okay, then we are gonna do die cutting of this little guy right here. 
I don't know. I'm going to put both of these. I can't, I think I have. <laughs> so here's my little cheater, right? I was like, they're not going to want me to cut all of these things three times through because basically it's the same dies on three different colors of cardstock. So, oops, stuck right on there, right? Okay, so now to not lose these things, I'm going to put them right over here. Okay, and I'll show you. So these are my three dies from, these are the Sentimental Park dies. And this is a total mess. I have yet to like put my <laughs> my black um, magnetic sheet on there, but you kind of get the idea, right? There are lots of little flowers. We're going to use these three right here. And that's what I did. Um, and I already have, yep, I already have petal pink. And um, so I don't think I need that one, right? And what's that other color? Lost Lagoon. So we're going to do boho blue for these three right here. Okay. And those things. So see how that happens? People get so frustrated. You have to move the cardstock. You can keep moving that die all day long. Just like that one right there. It's this magnetic field. You can't fight the magnetic field, ladies. It's like a joke, but it's not, right? So you can get frustrated and keep trying to move it or just move your paper and then it won't, you know, till it doesn't move anymore. All right, we're going to flip that back through there. Okay. Oops, to just kind of slam that. Well, you know, there we go. Those two, aren't these so cute? Like, look at these little babies, right? So sweet, right? And if I can get this one out, there we go. And then there's that one right there too. Okay, so we're gonna use, again, in three different colors, we're using those little babies. Okay, so that goes there. I'm just gonna actually put these. Back in my little cello bag so I remember what I need. And I think we are ready to do our stamping and then put our card together. Okay, so what are we going to do? We're going to do our stamping first. I am looking for my little scrap piece of paper. I don't know if I... Hmm. Well, that's all right. Okay, so we're going to do in boho blue. It's our first. Let's see. Am I missing any? Ooh! Okay, so Monica, the doilies are, it's part of this delightful doily. It's a hybrid embossing folder and the dies. Um, so let's see, I can tell you. So yeah, it's called delightful doily dies and they come together. So the stamp set, I'm sorry, the dies and the embossing folder are all one item code. Um, but yeah, if you search online for delightful doily, it's gonna come up with embossing folder and the set of dies because I feel like... I don't know, are these the numbers the same? Where are we looking here? Oh, maybe it doesn't even have, there's no number in here. Okay, so it must be this, the 161286 is the item number to get the dies and the embossing folder, okay? Good, all right. Thank you for that question too. I'm sure other people have the same, right? Doesn't the teacher always say that? Don't be afraid to ask a question. Somebody else probably has the same question too. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna do boho blue, sending hugs. Oh, and did I not mention, maybe this is what you're asking about too, layering leaves. That's the name of the stamp set that we're using with the sending hugs, thinking of you on the inside. And then we're gonna use this little stamp right here, kind of in the corner of that piece there too, okay? So we've got tap, 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 right? Nice and easy. I want this to be kind of up higher. There's our sending hugs, right? Then we are going to use our Lost Lagoon ink. And we are going to stamp our little leaf. So I made this card and it was, that was like, um, it needed a little something else. So I was like, okay, we're going to put that little leaf right on there too. And then last, we're going to do our little water splashes. Just do a few of, all right, whatever you want to call them, in our petal pink. So there, you guys can kind of see that, right? Okay. And actually, there was one on the inside too, right? We need a thinking of you in boho blue on there also. Okay, so we're going to open our boho blue ink pad up. Scoot that one over there. We've got our thinking of you. Nice, easy tap, 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 right? There we go. Ooh, love that. It's so pretty, huh? Right, the font. Beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna scoot these guys out of the way because I think we're done with the stamping. And I'm gonna just clean so that I don't get any ink on anything, right? So we're gonna just kind of clean these guys off. And if you, sometimes this happens where you kind of rubbed, 
I, a lot of times we'll just kind of leave it right in there, but if you don't get it all, just pick it up and kind of wield it around a little bit more so you get all the ink off. There we go. Okay. All right, we're gonna get rid of these babies too, so I'm not confused because it happens easily these days. All right, I think, let me find my adhesive, we are ready. So this is the card we're making, if I haven't been showing that, right? <laughs> um, what are my comments? Let's see. Yes, I know. Love the embossing folder and the dies. Um, oh, yes, and the beautiful colors and the font. I agree, Deb. Absolutely. Okay, so here we go. We are going to use quite a bit of adhesive. I tend to use um, a lot of adhesive on these embossed pieces. I think, you know, because kind of the raised edges... Um, they don't want to stick quite as well, right? When you kind of have all that bumpiness. So there we go. We're going to put that one. And sometimes I'll even flip it over and kind of rub like that too. Um, okay. And then again, I'm going to use a bunch of adhesive on this designer series paper piece because it's sticking to um, kind of a bumpy piece, right? Okay. So we got that one there. Then we are going to add adhesive on our sending hugs piece we're going to add that to our doily I'm going to put some dimensionals behind this one okay there we go all right adding this one on oh so pretty huh Sending hugs. Love that, right? Okay, and now let the fun begin, ladies. We are, where's my um, my little silicone mat? Here we go. Actually, you know what? Let's put this one on the inside too and get this little baby out of the way, right? Run it and tip it back. You guys know the drill on that, right? Gonna add this to the inside. We're gonna put a couple of little flowers there too, but we are gonna use our silicone mat to add all of these little flowers, right? So I'm going to scoot these because we have a bunch of them. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip them upside down so you can't see the little embossed piece. And this is going to be my little work surface to add these flowers to my card. Okay, add adhesive to them, right? So I can put them on my card. Okay, so we're going to just run a little bit of adhesive on each of these. Okay, love this color combo. I've been using that color coach so much. Um, always just has so many great like color combo ideas. That does not want to just stay there, does it? Okay, so now we're going to try to do the best we can to kind of do a similar look to what I have here. So we're going to start with this little guy here. We're going to add this one in the middle right there. We're going to pop that one right there. I'm going to put this big green one right there and another little baby green one right there. We have this little blue one kind of went right there. Got another green one maybe right about there and one more blue one right there along with that little baby there. And I kind of curled them. Actually, I'm going to press really firmly and then I'm going to come back and kind of curl them up just a little bit. Just give them a little bit of dimension there when you curl these guys up. Okay. Okay. There we go. There. And then actually we're going to put just a couple more, right? I just put these two and that worked out. I was like, I wonder if I put two inside there, but there we go. Put those two little babies right there, right? Okay, then lastly, a couple of um, last little bits here to finish it off. I love, I've been, it's funny because this was, um, I'm such a, like a visual person and um, this was kind of tucked away somewhere. This is the 2023, 25 in color jute trim in all of our in colors. And I, I forgot about it. Like it was kind of sitting over like somewhere where I just don't look very often. And like I said, being so visual, like if I don't see it, I forget about it. So I was happy that I did see it and I put it in a more prominent place so I would remember like, oh, I want to use that. So that was kind of good inspiration too for this card. Like what's my first color I want to use? One of these in colors, right? 
and then we'll go from there. Okay, so we're going to make that little bow, attach that right there. And what do I need? A little mini glue dot. Okay, let's flip this back. Sorry, you guys, hopefully this is um, not super annoying with it being sideways. Darn Facebook. They're just messing with me, aren't they, right? <laughs> Who knows? It could be me, but no, I think I really do think it's Facebook. Okay, so now we're going to add, oh, these are the tinsel gems that uh, Mona, or Marianne, not Monica, but Marianne just won, these little tinsel gems. And it's funny because I'm sure that this is not boho blue. It's probably like misty moonlight or something, but it's definitely like these kind of soft colors. Um, you can kind of bend them and make them be the color that you need for your card, right? Um, okay. And if this happens, you just have to chase it around a little bit. We're just going to add a few of these little babies inside of our flowers, right? We're going to do one more on that little blue one. And there we go. So project number one, sending hugs, thinking of you. Beautiful card, huh? Yeah, love that color combo. Very soft, pretty kind of dainty colors on that one. Okay, there is project number one. Let's get situated here. We'll get ready for our second. Oh yeah, dimensional is always stuck somewhere, right? As long as you're not, they're not in your butt, it's all right. Because that's a lot of times where they, <laughs> you know, you're walking away and like, oh, what's that on your butt, Amy? <laughs> okay, so here, another card, again, featuring more of our ink colors, Pebbled Path and Moody Mob with a Best Wishes. And I think I just put a stamp on the inside there, just more of those. So this is, again, from that Layering Leaves stamp set, the Best Wishes, right? But this one, this time I used the doily, kind of the detail and then the piece behind it there too and then this circle is also from those dies that's that one right there okay so I'll get these things out oh and the bow punch love using punches just because they're so kind of quick simple and easy right okay Doo -doo -doo -doo. let me give you some measurements here oh and I always like to remind you guys so all of the details for both of these cards, if you would like to recreate them, if you want to order anything so that you can recreate them, they'll be on my blog at Gathering Ink with a K, gatheringinspiration.com this afternoon. All right, let's see. I'm not missing anything. Okay, good. Thank you for your compliments, though, guys. I appreciate that. Okay, so again, eight and a half inside. We're going to cut it at four and a quarter inches. No. <laughs> let's start over. On the 11 inch side, we're going to cut it at five and a half inches. Then we are going to go along the eight and a half inch side and we're going to score it at four and a quarter inches. Okay, Moody Mob card base right there, right? Then we have a piece of basic white. That one layers right there that measures five by three and three quarters. And then our designer series paper is just a tiny bit smaller at four and seven eighths by three and five eighths. And that's just going to layer right on there. Okay. Um, and then we have one more piece. This is the basic white that goes on the inside, my standard layer at five and a quarter by four inches right there. Okay. Then I also have some pieces, Pebbled Path, Moody Mauve, Oh, and I wanted to show you guys this. We didn't actually use it. And then basic white. Um, so I used all of the dies from our die set. This doily, this little circle, but I didn't use this one. And I wanted you guys to see because I think it's really, really pretty. It's a beautiful label. And I see lots of like fun being had with that die in my future. So I had to show you guys that one too. Okay, so we are, let's do, we have just a little bit of stamping. So let's just do... Where is my, my ink? There it is, hiding, buried under things. Okay, so again, these are both stamps from the best, no, the Layering Leaves stamp set, the best wishes. And then this one will do right on the inside here. I actually use this as my little scrap piece because I have brand new, um, uh, What's that called? Grid paper. And I don't want to get it dirty yet because I'm like, oh, it's nice to be able to use more than once. But what's funny is you won't even see that. Even on the basic white, once you layer it on here, you won't even see that I use that as scrap paper there. Okay, so, and the one, the, the um, grid paper that I work on isn't nearly this pristine, but I like to have a, a pretty one for you guys for these Facebook Lives. Okay, so let's say we're going to do that. We're going to do that. Let's do another quick cleanup. I always like to do that because then I can throw these right back in my tub and 
I don't have to worry about getting Moody Mob ink on anything, right? Okay. Um, what am I doing? I walked over here to get something. How about how about we do our die cutting? That's what I think we're gonna do. Okay. All right. So we have our circle on this one right here. We also are going to use again the stylish shapes dies. This is the third largest die in the stylish shapes dies. We're going to use that on that one right there. We're actually going to scoot these back here a little bit. That one and that one because then uh, I guess I do have to do this twice, don't I? So where'd that big doily go? See if I can fit. Yeah, we'll do it next time. Okay, so here we're going to just do these two on here, okay? And then I'm gonna die cut my doilies next. Okay, so we've got these. I'm glad you guys are enjoying these cards. I love them too. Okay, so here's our new circle die right there. And then just, it just needed a little bit of pop. When I put the, when I put the best wishes on the card, I was like, oh, it needs a little something else. So that kind of just layers and frames it perfectly right there. Okay, so we're gonna get these guys out of the way. And then we are gonna do our, yeah, I wasn't gonna be able to do that anyway because I'm gonna do both of them all at the same time. Actually, we'll do this one here and this one here, okay? So we've got our big doily, the detail, and then the outline. And we are gonna crank this back and forth a couple of times. Hopefully things don't get too wiggly on us. We're gonna do that once, okay. We're just going to go back and forth on this detail piece just a little bit, right? Okay. Let's see. Can, like, let's say a prayer that, okay. Now, how many of those are going to pop out for me? I'm hoping many, many of them, right? If I just kind of tap that around a little bit. Yeah. And you know what's fun is like the inside ones, those are going to be covered up by our circle, so it doesn't even matter. So, but let me... We're going to just scoot this all right out of the way. And where do I have this? This guy and this guy. We're going to just grab these things. I'm going to make a big old mess probably on my grid paper, but that's all right. There we go. Okay, perfect. Scoot these right out of the way, and we are good, right? Beautiful, right? So that is going to layer right on there. Okay. Da, 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 da. What am I looking for now? Oh, yes, I want this thing right here. Because we are going to, I'm going to try to kind of add adhesive um, where there's more cardstock, like meaning that where all the little dots are because I don't really like when um, you see the adhesive through things. And actually, you know what I'm realizing? On the other one, what I, what I really did was I just went crazy on this part right here, because that's going to be covered up. Um, and that's where I added most of my adhesive. So, but that's okay. We're doing this one just a little bit different. That's all right. There we go. Okay, next. Oh, I thought there was something stuck on there, but that's my... That's my little back of that stem that I put on there, right? Okay, and oh, we need to punch a couple of these bow punches. Go one more, right there we go. Okay, and we're gonna just add a little bit of adhesive behind these guys right here. Okay, we're gonna put one right there and like one right there and then that is just going to layer right on there like that okay so there we go all right and that one goes there right perfect next we are going to put some dimensionals on the back of this guy and then this is all ready to go on our card when we're ready to do that okay so we can put this piece on the inside of our card. 
So again, our Moody Mauve card base is going to go right here. There's that. And then we're going to add this beautiful, right, the little hearts on one side and little dashes on the other side. In Moody Mauve comes in all of our in colors in a package also comes in brights regals subtles neutrals as well as last year's in colors okay there we go all right we're gonna put this on the inside or outside of our card right um then i am going to actually just add some adhesive this is the easiest way i think to do this we're gonna grab our pebbled path jute trim this time and here we go. You're welcome, Philomena. I'm glad you enjoyed the cards as always. Okay, so we're gonna, I think it's easiest to just kind of um, loop and tack this um, trim, jute trim, just kind of right on here, okay? And you can always play with it if something doesn't end up quite the way you want to have it plus once you put this piece down i'm going to do a little double check and make sure i'm happy with yep i think that's going to be fine okay so we're going to pull the backs of the dimensionals off yeah the twine colors are really pretty aren't they deb it's it's like the perfect these colors are perfect in this twine too i think oops there we go that one there and kind of our final touch is actually we're going to add some of our in color dots you can see i've these are pretty well loved so i have a couple pebble path left um what is that wild wheat we're going to use these moody mauve uh, copper clay and then boho blue so we're going to use a couple of these little babies right here we're going to put one right there we're going to put a I use all three of the sizes, right? We're going to do a big one right down there and then kind of a medium size one I put maybe right there. And there we go. All right, ladies, I think we did it. Whew, crafter math again here. And so sorry that things are sideways. Just, you know, can't win every time, right? It's how it's life. <laughs> Just have to keep working and rolling with it, right? Okay, so don't forget, though, if you are interested in ordering, make sure you use, this is the host code, the UUXQTP2Y. You will get both of these projects as a thank you from me. Your name is entered into the drawing to win this horse and sleigh stamp set. And you also get to pick from our demo design green team PDF tutorial are the free embellishment. All right. So thank you guys so much for watching. And again, thank you, thank you, thank you for your support of the fundraiser in my mom's name and honor. I truly appreciate each and every one of you, whatever you can do, even if it's just sending me your messages. I love to hear from you guys, especially your stories too. They kind of connect us all together, right? So thanks guys for watching. Have a great weekend and we'll see you two weeks from today on August 25th. Bye everybody. Thank you. And again, sorry for the sidewaysness. <laughs> Bye.